Alright, in this video I'm going to continue looking at the initial configuration of my Cohesity cluster. In the previous videos you've seen me deploy the virtual appliance and set it up for both cloud tiering and also for cloud archive. Uh, cloud archive is nicely active, continues to uh, pump data up there. Got my first bill from AWS for that cloud archive, it cost me a whole one New Zealand dollar for the first partial month. I'm expecting that to climb to all of probably three dollars this month and maybe over a longer period of time uh, it'll climb a little higher because of course longer retention means more unique blocks in there. It's still a pretty trivial cost to have off-site storage for my lab. This video I'm going to go through some of the more initial configuration and in particular I'm going to attach my Cohesity cluster to my Active Directory in order to, to do delegation of control. Of course it's a really poor idea to continue to use the admin account with the default admin password that's configured in here. So I'm going to uh, pop in and first off change the admin password. Nice simple process. We'll just come in the access management section and then edit the admin account that I'm currently logged on with. Uh, maybe I should have done this after I'd added an alternate method in, but I'm going to set a, a password I'm pretty happy with. Uh, admin at d.local is the email address because it appears that I have to set one and then set my new password. Uh, minimum eight characters. Uh, I haven't checked to see whether the complexity is required, uh, but I always use complex passwords anyway. So it's that easy. Password has changed on my admin account and I should uh, log out to uh, check that. Log back in as admin with my new password. And everything is good. All right. That's going to be my backdoor account using the local admin account. What I really do want to do is join to Active Directory and it's a, a really simple process. Uh, specify the domain name and specify the administrator account that you're going to use for domain join. Uh, why don't I just use the domain administrator account if I can spell it correctly. Uh, put in the password that's currently on that. And that's, that's it, that's all you need to do. I could specify an OU to place the computer account in, uh, but I'm not going to. Uh, I could specify NetBIOS name, but again, I don't use NetBIOS these days. Uh, so we just hit do join domain. And there we go, we've successfully joined the domain. Uh, happily now have access to my domain for authentication. The next thing I need to do is to add users from my Active Directory. Now, I'm not going to use direct user accounts, so I'd better set up some dedicated accounts in my Active Directory for this Cohesity administration. So here in my AD, so I've got a Cohesity user account. I also put my security groups in here because it's a very small uh, organization in here. So I will need a new group. The group is going to be called Cohesity Admin be a global security group and that's good and I'm going to add two accounts to it. I'll add myself and I need administrator as well. There we go. And then I want to delegate control or at least I want to show you delegation of control to people who can operate backups but can't administer the entire environment. So we've got Cohesity operators as a group. So now I've got the group set up and I'm going to use group membership in Active Directory to control access to functions in Cohesity. I better add those users in groups. So it's going to be an Active Directory user or group from domain.local. Uh, I want to search for things that start with CO. There's all of my CO, so we'll go Cohesity admin to start. Um, we'll specify the admin role for this group. Okay. So we'll just add that. And of course I have my operators as well. HD, CO, Cohesity operators, taking the operator role. And you can see that there's also a viewer role and some other roles that are more specific uses. Keeping it very simple, 
I'm just going to have those two uh, groups in use. And so now I can stop using the admin account and I can use Active Directory accounts instead. So when I log out of here, now I get offered a domain drop down and I can say I want to use my domain account and let's log in as um, administrator. And remember which password it is. And there we go, I'm logged in as administrator. I have the same access levels as I had when I was logged in with my local account as admin. I can see and do all of the things that I need to do with this account. Naturally, the operator account doesn't get system set up, just gets the ability to work with backup jobs. Adding Active Directory, adding Cohesity cluster to Active Directory, nice and simple, easy to do. And although there isn't the most complex set of, of roles in here, I think there's a, a good sufficient set at this point. Uh, and you can add custom roles, as you can see, and you can set just the privileges that you require. Adding uh, my Cohesity cluster to Active Directory, devolving control to AD groups, nice and simple, and exactly the way I want it to work. I want to do all of my administration of these user accounts in my Active Directory, not inside Cohesity, because of course Active Directory is also what I'm using for authentication for every other application that I'm running. This has been another video in the series on getting started with and working with Cohesity as a data protection and data management platform. I'm Alistair Cook. Stay tuned for more videos.